Hey, Rick. Thanks for joining me on Zoom today. Hi, Jill. How's it going? It's going. Another day in isolation. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, you notice I did my why video uh, yesterday, um, wanting to share about, you know, we've, we've dove deeply into this huge project of starting this school and wanted to share exactly why we're doing this. So I thought you as the board chair today, maybe could share a little bit about your why. Sure, I'd love to. Um, thought your response was intriguing and really well done, but I'd be happy to share my story and some of my why as well. Um, it's tough. I think my why is, is, is pretty multifaceted. You know, there's multiple reasons, you know, I believe in both the need and the vision of Pinnacles Prep. So uh, tried to narrow it down to just a few areas and kind of streamline my thinking. I think first and foremost, it, for me, it's all about equity. I think it's critically important that, you know, all learning environments, you instill high expectations for every student in their building. And more importantly, that every student learns in an environment that allows them to achieve their full potential. Um, and you know, equity is really the foundation upon which Pinnacles Prep has been built. I think secondly, um, school size matters. I think particularly for some of our you know, most vulnerable students and students that have historically been marginalized um, in their learning environments. I think a small school culture not only allows us to really individualize learning for kids, but also allows kids to develop deep relationships with, with staff and their mentor. Uh, I also think you know a small school culture allows an instructional model to be nimble and to pivot when students uh, need to be served. Um, I think lastly, you know I'm committed to celebrating you know what I see as education's greatest assets our teachers. So you know, I think Pinnacles has done a really good job of designing a model that's you know truly values teachers but also demands exceptional teaching. You know, I think our instructional model will not only allow us to attract great teachers, but also to retain great teachers. Okay. Um, you know, you've, you've shown this by designing a schedule that really gives teachers an increased amount of time to plan and to collaborate and to grow both personally and professionally. So when they do, and when they are spending time with students, they're not only prepared, but they're also energized. So I think for me, you know, those are three huge reasons. Um, about why I got into this work and you know, why I'm part of the Pinnacles Prep leadership team and on the founding board. Um, I really think you know, these pieces are not only, I'm not only passionate about these pieces, but I think they're critical pieces that we've built into the Pinnacles model. Um, so I'm really hoping you know, that the community will come out in a couple weeks for our virtual public forum on Wednesday, May 13th, and not only learn more about our story and our vision and, and our why, uh, but also ask questions, um, not only of us, but also of the charter school commissioners. Mm -hmm. And if you're unable to you know, come out on the 13th, I encourage you to reach out to Jill or myself or any of the other board members to schedule some time to, to learn more about the P Pinnacles Prep story. I think we've got a great story to tell. Awesome, Rick. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And I look forward to chatting with the rest of our board, hopefully in the next coming uh, week or so. And right. um, yeah, well, I'll let you go back to whatever isolation activity you were working on. So fun to chat. I can't wait to hear the rest of our board members' stories as well. I know. All right. Thanks, Rick. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye, Jill. Bye.